Hello friends, today we are going to learn about uh, medical shop billing software. This is uh, tutorial number one. This uh, video uh, tutorial is taken by uh, Anju Sashin, our uh, team member. Uh, she will explain to you uh, about uh, medical shop billing software. This is volume number one. In their uh, tutorial, we, we are preparing now one by one. So keep watching. Today we have discussed about the medical uh, software. And first of all, this is the uh, home page of medical software. Then we can go to, uh, first we can add the company information. Then we can go to master entry, company information. Then we can add the company name or pharmacy name here. First we can set the company name. Then the address line 1 needed. Add, uh, first, first company name then address then state we can select uh, then the contact number mail id gst number uh, license number and pan number if you have any logo you can uh, you can browse here then terms and conditions then here is a uh, financially showing uh, like april uh, 1st 2022 then march 31 then we can save that. If you have any details, you can uh, you can save that and any uh, updations you have. Then again, click on the company information. You can select here. Then you can update anything here. Then we can set the tax category. Uh, same things uh, in master entry tax category we can set uh, the uh, different types of tax you have then here gst to uh, toll is already there then if you uh, if you want 18 percentage you can save that click on new then any zero percentage is available you can set zero then if you uh, any default is uh, there you can set uh, click on this is default GST rate person you can set update. Then unit of measures available. In based on the pharmacy so software, uh, different types of unit of measures available. Then strip, tablet, bottles, uh, like that. Uh, you can add that unit of measures here. Click on the new button, you can write the unit name, then save. Then salesman also you can add. Salesman details, uh, this is salesman entry. Salesman's name you can add. Address, city, state, postal code, contact number, mail ID. And if you uh, need to uh, give any commission for the uh, salesman, you can set the percentage of commission here. Any remarks you can add and any image if you want, you can select here, then save. After giving all the data, it will successfully save. Uh, you can save that details and after the, uh, go to get data the salesman entry is available if you want to edit any details you can click on this then update then next is the product entry product entry here uh, the first uh, this is the one by one product entry here you can search medicine here if you want dollar you can write the dollar here then click on enter button dollar based uh, different types of dollar uh, 1000 mg infusion dollar uh, 1000 mg tablet dollar 120 suspension you can click on this section that will be filled some details here product name uh, manufacturer description is already filled uh, here then you can uh, write any uh, category here means uh, if any uh, category you can give then uh, if you have the uh, medicine how the HSN code you can write here HSN code number then purchase rate purchase rate uh, the uh, the medicine is uh, purchased from the supplier that uh, 
they uh, this uh, medicine have the one strip one strip of uh, the purchase rate of one strip you can give then reorder point means it says stock allowing uh, uh, limit you can give uh, if you set the uh, reorder point uh, five or below uh, any numbers you can give here below that reorder point you can uh, give an alert in sale sales entry it will be the stock limit exceeded and uh, that uh, message coming in there if the medicine is in the uh, strip below that uh, five strips it will be stocking uh, stock uh, exceeded showing main unit you can select the strip then alternative unit if any alternative unit in that particular medicine you can set target otherwise you can select the strip uh, if the tablet, uh, if if you select the tablet, you can give the conversion value here. The number of tablets per strip you can give. One strip contains number of tablets or ten tablets per strip. We can give ten. Then also uh, the sale tax type and purchase tax type is available. Sale tax type means uh, the inclusive or exclusive. You can select if the uh, the price uh, included with the GST you can give here. Exclusive means the product price plus GST added. Uh, you can select this type of sale tax uh, tax type you can give. Then the, any product wise discount if you have you can give that uh, discount percentage here. If any discount percentage. Then GST uh, percentage you can select the based on the medicine. If it is 18 percent you can select all percentage. Any things you can select. Or click on this plus button you can add also here. And the main unit you can add from here also. Click on the plus button. Then barcode is automatically generating barcode. If if you want to change this barcode you can change that. Then schedule of drugs. Schedule of drugs is also available. You can select particular schedule of drugs here. Then uh, here is the any opening stock. Stock means uh, currently available quantity of that product. If you have any current uh, quantity of that particular product, you can give that current stock here. Then MRP, uh, MRP is available. MRP section, sale rate, batch number, manufacturing expiry date is available. After adding this section, you can click on the add button. Hello. Uh, the medicine have the batch number, you can write the batch number here. Any manufacturing date, you can select the manufacturing date. Then after that, you can add, click on the add button. Then after adding this all the details, you can save that, save the details, save that details. Oh, after saving this details, please select schedule of drugs. Schedule of drugs is um, mandatory field so that we can select the schedule of drugs and we can save that. Successfully save. Then after go to get data, we can select the particular item here. If you want to change anything uh, here based on the product details, you can uh, update that. This is the mass uh, product entry section. Then also customer, if you want to, uh, if you want to add the customer section, you can directly add from here. Master entry, customer. There is also customer details you can uh, you can add. Customer name, address, city. Uh, state, postal code, contact number, mail ID and this much of details is mandatory fields. Uh, you can add that uh, directly. Then also supplier. Supplier if you want uh, the uh, for purchase entry the supplier is must. Then you can add the supplier through master entry, supplier and uh, supplier entry section. Here supplier name you can add. Any opening uh, balance for that uh, 
particular supplier you can give that opening balance here any pending amount to, uh, given for the uh, supplier you can set here okay any account details you can uh, you can set here uh, for the supplier and also credit limit you can set here after that we can save the details then after go to get data the saved customer details is here if you want to cl uh, click on that the um, supplier details listed here then if you want to um, change anything here you can change that then click on update And if you want to delete uh, any details after uh, click on the get data then click you can uh, click on delete then account head uh, you can uh, account head means you can if you want to add the expense entry first of all you can go to master entry section then account head uh, you can select uh, under group you can select it's an expenses and which type of expenses um, you can give in account head means uh, travel expenses you can give uh, in account head travel then save this is based on the expense entry then after uh, adding the account head you can go to expense entry in particulars you can select that particular account head section then which type of uh, expense uh, we can add here then any details you can update it and particular expense anyone you can do in notes you can add then click on the add to grid you can save that if you want to print the details do you want to print the expense voucher you can click on yes otherwise no after adding the expense entry you can click the get data the list is available here date wise list uh, available if you want to export the excel you can click on the export excel thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubt any clarification or any more uh, demo or something is required please call us 8078311945 or 8606093110 we are here to help you reinduct software limited thank you so much for watching this video thank you bye bye